Our first hymn this morning is number 766. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Do please have a seat. It's lovely to be here with you all this morning. And a particular welcome to Joe and his family. Joe. Um, We sponsored Joe when he went on his school trip to Ghana last year and so we're really delighted that he's come back to talk to us this morning all about it and we're going to hear um, during the sermon slot um, some of his trip and see some pictures of uh, what happened while he was out there so we're really looking forward to that so a big welcome to Joe and it's a really good opportunity actually um, not that I think Trish will thank me for this but just to say thank you to Trish and to Joe because every Saturday they come and set up the church for us and clean and do the hoovering and I am so enormously grateful to all of them so thank you to Trish and Joe for doing that. So just a few more notices before we start. I hope you like our new Creation Tide booklet, um, which we are, we, over this next period of time, as we think about the harvest season and we think about autumn, it's a, a really important time in the church's year where we think about Creation Tide and um, all that creation is and our environment and our planet and all that we have been given by God. So um, this enable us enables us to think a little bit about um, creation tide through our liturgy uh, just to say Chilworth concert that happened on Tuesday there was a recital at Chilworth it was very lovely by all accounts I was sadly unable to be there but I think there was a, a really good turnout and everyone had lots of fun the next one is ukulele and handbells, which is quite intriguing. That's on the 8th of November. So um, if, if ukulele and handbells float your boat, please do come along and um, have a go. I think, I think there's some audience participation in that, isn't there? Just so um, we are looking forward to that on the 8th of November. Um, on the 28th of September, um, there is going to be a Macmillan coffee morning here at All Saints. It's in the 
Thursday morning slot, isn't it, Pam? So um, in the Welcome Cafe. So contributions of cakes for that would be greatly, uh, uh, greatly appreciated. So please speak to Pam if you would like to donate some cakes for that and please come along and support it. Um, and one last thing, we are still going with our inclusive church survey. We've had lots of responses back. If um, you would prefer to fill it in on paper, we did it last week on paper here. I know some of you were unable to be here. There are a pile of them at the back. If you would like to fill it in after the service on paper, then you are very welcome. I'm hopeful that it all got through on the email link eventually. Um, I may have tried and failed to send it in the first. Oh, amazing. Already. That's... Amazing. That's really good news. Um, I'm really grateful for everyone taking the time to fill this in. It's really important that we get some understanding of people's thinking and belief systems. So if you would rather fill it in on paper, there are some at the back and um, you can fill it in before you even leave the building today. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and that's the church warden and she's got the keys. So, you know, take, take that threat seriously. I think that's all our notices. So let's pray. Uh, let us pray. God's whole creation groans. The land produces thorns and thistles and longs to be set free. Our sin affects all around us. We confess our sins in penitence and faith. You delight in cre creation, its colour and diversity, yet we have misused the earth and plundered its resources for our own selfish ends. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have brought order out of chaos, light in darkness, good out of evil, but we have preferred darkness in words and deeds which dishonour God's holy name. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You have showered us with blessings, but we have been grudgingly towards others and lacking in generosity in word and deed. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Assured of God's forgiveness, we stand to say the Gloria. Glory to, to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the collect, collect for today. Creator God, you make the goodness of the land, the riches of the sea, and the rhythms of the seasons, as we bless you for all you have created. May we cherish and respect this planet and its peoples, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please take a seat for the readings. Thank you. The 
reading this morning is from Genesis chapter 50, verses 15 to 21. It's regarding Joseph reassuring his brothers. After the death of their father, Joseph's brothers said, What if Joseph still hates us and plans to pay us back for all the harm that we did to him? So they sent a message to Joseph. Before our father died, he told us to ask you, please forgive the crime your brothers committed when they wronged you. Now, please forgive us the wrong that we, servants of your father's God, have done. Joseph cried when he received this message. Then his brothers themselves came and bowed down before him. Here we are before you as your slaves, they said. But Joseph said to them, don't be afraid. I can't put myself in the place of God. You plotted evil against me, but God turned it into good in order to preserve the lives of many people who are alive today because of what happened. You have nothing to fear. I will take care of you and your children. So he reassured them with kind words that touched their hearts. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. second reading today is taken from Romans, chapter 14, verses 1 to 12. A plea for unity. Accept other believers who are weak in faith, and don't argue with them about what they think is right or wrong. For instance, one person believes it's all right to eat anything, but another believer with a sensitive conscience will eat only vegetables. Those who feel free to eat anything must not look down on those who don't. And those who don't eat certain foods must not condemn those who do, for God has accepted them. Who are you to condemn someone else's servants? Their own master will judge whether they stand or fall. And with the Lord's help, they will stand and receive his approval. In the same way, some think one day is more holy than another day while others think every day is alike. You should each be fully convinced that whichever day you choose is acceptable. Those who worship the Lord on a special day do it to honour him. Those who eat any kind of food do so to honour the Lord, since they give thanks to God before eating. And those who refuse to eat certain foods also want to please the Lord and give thanks to God. For we don't live for ourselves or die for ourselves. If we live, it's to honour the Lord. And if we die, it's to honour the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Christ died and rose again for this very purpose, to be Lord both of the living and of the dead. So why do you condemn another believer? Why do you look down on another believer? Remember, we all stand before the judgment seat of God. For the scriptures say, As surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bend to me, and every tongue will confess and give praise to God. Yes, each of us will give a personal account to God. This is the word of the Lord. stand for our next hymn. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. 
Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus asked, were not ten made clean, but the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And so I have great pleasure in welcoming Jo to come and speak to us. Well, good morning, everybody. Lovely to see you all today here. Um, yet again, I'm Joe, and I'm here today to share with you um, some of my stories in Ghana. So, as mentioned, I spent 10 days out there in the unforgiving heat of 45 degrees and 95% humidity and broken showers. <laughs> no, come on, it wasn't that glorious. Um, and 60 mozzie bites. Yeah, that wasn't very nice. Um, so my school was partnered up with a company called African Adventures, and they take con uh, countries, they take schools from inside the UK and other European countries uh, to schools in Africa. They work with countries such as Ghana, particularly Gen Kenya and Zanzibar, and support thousands of children in Africa to try and give them a, I wouldn't say a brighter future, um, more of a hopeful future because they don't have the same sort of privileges that you and I share. So here are a few Ghana facts for you. Um, there is a map there. Apologies if it will be a bit laggy. Um, Ghana is almost exactly the same size as the UK, but it is only home to 31 million people. Um, over 250 dialects are spoken there. In the town where I was staying, Way, a small fishing village, um, it was mainly their native language that they spoke, which was Iwu. And until recently, Ghana was the quickest growing economy on the planet, but many rural villages still live in poverty. Um, Ghana's national flag uh, holds meaning. The red represents the bloodshed in their fight for independence, as it was originally a Dutch colony and then became a British colony and was only given their independence in 1952. Um, the gold represents its country mineral, mineral, mineral wealth and the green signifies its rich forests and the black star represents African freedom. So the trip that I took part in which was the first that African Adventures had done with my school Emily since COVID, um, since the COVID lockdown and as you can probably tell everybody was very excited but we weren't prepared for the lack of food um, I lost eight kilograms of weight. <laughs> so we, are, um, we arrived at Little Roses on Sunday early evening after about 36 hours of straight traveling. I wasn't in the best mood. And it was, uh, we received a very, very warm welcome by the locals in the village. Lots of drumming, dancing, that sort of thing. And lots of traditional food such as fruit, rice, fish, chicken, rice, and more rice. Did I mention rice? <laughs> um, and on the way there, well, still throughout the traveling the country, we lost quite a few suitcases. They had a habit of jumping out of the van, which I didn't think suitcases do, did very often. So um, our overnight accommodation was a 10 minute uh, drive away from the school. Um, yeah, 10 minutes, and lots of windows, lots of air conditioning, and on the, on the coach, sorry, which was actually a blessing, but we were on there for seven hours, so it was actually quite cold afterwards, ironically. 
Um, so our schedule from Monday uh, to fr uh, from Monday to Friday was 9 a.m. to 2:30 p.m., which was uh, teaching or building breeze blocks at the Little Roses School. Because when I say school, you I'm sure you would imagine quite a few buildings, tennis courts, football football grounds. Um, there it was like a couple wooden shacks. I don't. Is there a, yeah, there's a picture of a. Uh, ooh, oh, wrong button. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the sort of. Oh, there we go. That's the school there. Uh, just a little wall, and they don't have any concrete floors. They have sand instead of grass in Ghana, and sand also in your bed <laughs> and your shower. Um, so building breeze blocks in the breaks, we played with the children. Um, a twelve-year-old is about that tall. Yeah, that was quite a surprise as well. Um, but there was an incident where a 12-year-old was that tall. So um, they were very engaging. They were very nice. They were very interested with our skin color. I've never been touched by so many children in my life. That sounds very strange. I did not mean it like that. Um, they were very interested uh, what it was like to live in England. And a lot of them asked me, so what is it like where you came from? And... I didn't really know what to say to that. I just ended up saying it was very different. Um, but in each afternoon, after a couple hours of in the school, we went to a place of interest, which included a beach, a lighthouse, a British slave fort, um, and a market. I think those are on the next slide. Um, but that's the sort of thing that you were eating for breakfast. That is eggs mixed with spices. And that is about the sort of, that is about the amount that you were given. Um, okay, so this is the beach here. That's a 200-year-old Danish lighthouse, which is, was quite a surprise when I heard that. And those are the, uh, they're a drumming club, because it's traditional in Ghana that each school has like their own little drumming band. Like you imagine a school has a school band, their equivalent is a drumming band. So in the evening, when it was cooler, we relaxed, played, ja played games. We enjoyed breakfast of fresh exotic fruits and scrambled eggs with diced peppers, as mentioned before. Lunch and tea was chicken or fish with vegetables and rice and more fruit. Sometimes spicy, but the chefs really did tone it down. I was expecting it to be a lot spicier, spicier but it, it wasn't, actually. Um, and we drank lots of water. But I mean a lot of water. So we had to pay five CD for I don't know, about a two-litre bottle of water. So me and the guys and my classmates, this is just a little bit of an aside, we decided to become a communal bank. So we would all buy, I don't know, about t ten bottles of water each, and we'd put them in our room and say, you know, take as many as you want. And then we, came, we left the room for about ten minutes, then we came back, every single last water bottle was gone, only to find out is that they were reselling them back to us. <laughs> mm. Just good business planning, that's what I say. So after five days of um, volunteering and traveling of to local places, we went up into the mountains, um, which was quite an experience. And that is my first decent meal I had during the whole trip, except there was more rice on there and chicken. Um, so it was a six to seven hour drive up into the Volta region. Um, we went to uh, a monkey sanctuary they are not wearing glasses. I know, yeah, I get that a lot. Um, oh. So more mountain pictures. Um, that millipede really is that big. Um, it was part of a national park and we visited the tallest waterfall in, on the east side of Africa, west side of Africa, sorry. It poured for the previous day, so the spray coming off of it was Horrendous. I might as well not have showered. It was first, probably the first decent shower I had of the whole trip. Um, so then after that, we returned to Little Roses for a farewell celebration. And that is the water tank that my school had been sponsoring for about the past year. Um, and we got to, they had their own little ceremony for that, which was really quite sweet. And they're always like giving us their water bottles to fill up. I don't think they really understand the concept of a queue just yet. <laughs> Sorry, that is very insensitive. Um, 
Yeah, so on 2 p.m. on Tuesday, uh, we began heading home. Um, so the traffic on the way back was horrific because Ghana, if you can imagine, on the south coast, is just one main road and all roads filter into that. So instead of it being a six hour drive, it was an eight and a half hour drive back to the airport, which was nice, but we had a comfortable ride, except there is no such thing as leg room. Um, some of the things that I took with me and didn't come back included weight, my physical body weight, um, pencils, coloring books, tennis balls, because the schools just don't have that sort of money to pay for those things. But um, we got used to power cuts and shower failure. Sorry, bad jokes, I get them from my dad. <laughs> hey, dad. <laughs> Um, these children are not spoiled and I honestly think it's a shame how they are living so thank you very much for your attention is there any more? and I was never pleased to see UK border in my life <laughs> thank you very much oh yes this was made by a five year old child and it pulls my arm hairs which is <laughs> This was, oh, Vanessa, could you just? Mm. So this was, oh. this was um, made in Ghana and given to everybody with their own name on it as a kind of like a thank you oh. token. Oh, how lovely. That's beautiful. How many days got such a field check? Uh, seven. Oh, yeah, the, uh, sorry. The TYSGI stand for the Young Shall Grow International, which is an organisation in Ghana which helps with bringing um, children from Europe over to Ghana and America. That's beautiful. And something that you could typically find or buy in Ghana, one of these. Yeah, they're handmade. I got this for my mum. And I haven't. Have you put this up yet? It's a palm tree. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention. Shall we give him a big round of applause? <laughs> Thank you so much, Joe. I think that's just such a fascinating insight, isn't it, into another country. I, I think that we often forget how privileged and how fortunate we are to live where we do and to have the experiences that we do. And I'm I'm sure that that experience will, will stay with Joe for the rest of his life. I, you can tell how much that has impacted upon him and the significance of, of working with those children and, and talking to those children and hearing those children's experiences will be an incredibly formative experience for him. And it's great that we too can share in that experience with him. So it was lo really lovely to hear about it, Joe. Thank you very much. Trish, have you had rice in your house since? No, no, no. <laughs> 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 like, chips. chips, only chips now. <laughs> Thank you. So, shall we please stand as we say the creed together? Thank you. We believe in one God the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world and let us be thankful for his goodness. Please take a seat. Thank you. God said, let there be light. Eternal God, we thank you for your light and your truth. We praise you for your fatherly care in creating a universe which proclaims your glory. Inspire us to worship you, the creator of all, and let your light shine upon our world. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the heavens. We thank you for the vastness of the universe and the mysteries of space. We pray for all scientists and astronomers who extend the boundaries of our knowledge. As we contemplate the wonder of the heavens, confirm us in the truth that every human being is known and loved by you. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let the waters be gathered together and let dry land appear. We thank you for the beauty of the earth, for the diversity of land and sea, for the resources of the earth. Give us the will to cherish this planet and to use its riches for the good and welfare of all. At this point, we pray for Robin Oliver, who is very poorly at the moment. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let there be lights in the sky to separate the day and the night. We thank you for the warmth of the sun, the light of the moon, the glory of the stars. We praise you for the formations of clouds, the radiance of dawn and sunset. Save us from wasting or abusing the energy on which all life depends. Open our eyes to behold your beauty and our lips to praise your name. We pray too, Lord, for um, the uh, countries of Libya and of Morocco and the floods that they're having. We have no idea why this happens. If it's about the environment, we know that you know. And we ask, Lord Jesus, that you would bless those people and um, help and protect the country to rebuild itself. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let the waters bring forth living creatures and let birds fly across the sky. We thank you for the teeming life of the seas and the flight of the birds. Help us to protect the environment so that all life may flourish. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind. We rejoice in the variety of animal life. Grant us grace to treat all animals with respect and care, to protect endangered species, to preserve the variety of habitats, and to honour the delicate balance of nature. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let us create human beings in our own image. We pray for the human family. We exult in its diversity and giftedness. We repent of its sins, divisions, and of violence. By the power of your spirit, restore your image within us through Christ who came to remake us by his death and resurrection. 
we pray to Lord Jesus for those who are also sick, the ones that we know. And we pray too, Lord, for families who have lost loved ones. We pray particularly for David, uh, Mark's uncle, and we ask Lord Jesus that you will be with them, with the whole family at this time. God of life, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have filled the world with beauty. Open our eyes to behold your gracious hand in all your works, that rejoicing in your whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness. For the sake of him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're comfortable to stand, would you stand for the peace? You shall go out with joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. And we sing our offertory song. As the grain once scattered in the fields and the grapes once dispersed on the hillside and now united on this table in bread and wine, so, Lord, may your whole church soon be gathered together from the corners of the earth into your kingdom. Amen. Amen. The Lord is here. The Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, For you have created the heavens and the earth and formed us in your own image. In the fullness of time you sent forth your Son, your eternal word, who laid down his life for our salvation and rose from the grave, the first fruits of your new creation. You send forth your holy and life-giving spirit to give life to our mortal bodies and to renew the face of the earth. Therefore, with all the heavenly hosts, we give voice to everything that you have made and sing the eternal hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that bread, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shared for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Christ is the bread of life. When we we eat this bread and and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. Lord, for life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with St John, St Mark, St Denis and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but But deliver deliver us from from evil. evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. 
God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, which is made the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ be upon you and those whom you love now and always. Amen.
keep, O Lord, your church with your perpetual mercy. And because without you our human frailty cannot but fall, keep us ever by your help from all things hurtful and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we say together on page 11, Lord of all creation, as we have received the bread and wine, fruits of the earth and tokens of salvation, so with joy we celebrate your goodness and commit ourselves to serve you on your earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we have our final hymn today. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all goodness and growth, pour his blessings upon all things created and upon you, his children, so that you may use his gifts to his glory and the welfare of all peoples. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Care for God's good creation and bring forth the fruits of righteousness. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.
Thanks. Thanks.